many years we have been studying the paranormal. And we now believe it's time to share our experiences with you. Follow us as we travel to various locations. In search of the unknown. So today we're investigating Rivey Woods in Linton. Yeah, it's a particularly ancient wood apparently. I mean, it, it shows up on maps um, which also include a Roman road. And the Roman road seems to actually go around the forest, suggesting that it dates back to at least Roman times. So we've brought some bits of equipment with us today. Not all of it, obviously we're outside in the woods in the middle of nowhere, so we have no electricity. So as you can see we are literally in the middle of nowhere, just woods all around us. Yeah. <coughs> Somewhere in the wood there's a stream, um, but we haven't yet been able to find it. Um, ho hopefully it will turn up at some stage, but yeah, quite epic. Um, I mean streams are sort of synonymous with, with energy, flowing water, forests, and it, because it's a very ancient forest. Um, in this area dates back, you know, that we know that there were Saxon um, villages around here. Uh, it's, it's very likely that, that they would have been into sort of worshipping the elementals or, or you know, the lords of nature, gods of nature. Um, so really a place like this, you have to enter it and treat it with respect. Definitely. Um, apart from wandering astrals, like I said, elemental spirits, um, guardian, you, you, you get the whole shebang here, whether they'll interact with us or not is another thing. but. Yeah, we shall see. So we've got the REM cube on and the K2 meters on. Yeah. Let's get the EVP recorder going. Okay. There you go, it's recording. <coughs> right. Oh. Well, thank you for letting us come to you for us. Um, yeah, great. We're, we're definitely welcome any residential elementals or individuals to come interact with us this evening. Um, definitely your, your own choice, of course, we're not going to force anything. And um, we've got some very rudimentary pieces of equipment here which you can use to communicate with us, but you can. Approach us both directly if you want to, but we will notice you. Are there any wandering astrals around here that'd like to come and speak to us and communicate with us? Should try um, ghost box. Yeah. Right. Right. That is indeed. Okay, so there's anyone around here that'd like to come and join us? Could you come tell us your name? Yeah. Yeah. Are there any particular individuals around here at all that want to come and make contact? Or who are just passing through? Feel free to come and say hello. We're here to just to communicate with you. We don't mean you any harm. Feel free to come speak to us. Yeah, it's very quiet, yeah. Mm -hmm. Might be a bit early. It's still really early, isn't it? Yeah. So we're now going to be going deeper into the woods. <clears throat> I thought we record some of our journey for you. <laughs> Some of them building. 
Wow, someone's actually built a house out here. That is cool. It's actually really quite good. That's wicked. It's, it's very well built, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah. That was a whistle. Hello? No one. So we've now moved on to a different part of the woods. And um, yeah, it's a different atmosphere. It's, definitely it's very, very different here. Um, uh, Pretty much as soon as we got here and set up, um, it became pretty obvious that there's at least one individual who's, who's noticed us being here and has paid attention to us rather than before. I'm sort of hearing whispering. Um, it's very easy to imagine things out here because you can hear noises, you hear birds, obviously wildlife, but, but the whispering seems, it's, it's very, it's human, you can't make it out, it's in the background. Is it, it's almost like there's people hiding in the bushes whispering about us, but there's not, you know, we're definitely here on our own. We've been round here. Right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how much of it we've been round. Well, to be fair, if somebody experience. wanted to hide, they could hide, but, but they're not. I mean, you'd hear them moving, it'd, so it'd be silly. It's, it, it's weird. It, or, it, the atmosphere is just much more oppressive, it's yeah. much more enclosed, which is strange when you're outdoors. You, you get it, you expect it in the building, but when you're out in the open, you, you really notice it much more, so it's more obvious when it comes in and closes in around you, it sort of encapsulates you. The trouble is, before we know, we can just be surrounded. Well, well we had that once yeah. before. That shouldn't happen. No. I mean, it could happen, but it shouldn't. Okay, so we've moved area now, we've come to a different area. Um, we've had a little wander around as well. But just before we left that area, the atmosphere changed quite yeah, it was it, it was very weird. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, I mean, we've experienced portals or vortexes or, or whatever you want to call them, and that would be along the lines of that. I mean, you sort of you feel almost like almost like you're swaying around in a boat, um, but still with that very encapsulated feeling. It, it was almost like being in a in a bubble at sea. It was very very weird. Um, but yeah. The problem with portals is, as I said, they, 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 they're strange things, they, they can affect all manner of stuff and, yeah. and not necessarily in a positive way. No. Um, it felt a little bit too welcoming really and I'm sort of thinking, okay, you know, we, we've, we've had our time here, definitely time to push on because, I mean, for whatever reason, I was obviously just reaching a point where I didn't want to leave. <laughs> I, mean, I, felt, I felt quite at home there, I felt quite yeah, safe and, quite and, it, and, it, and, it, it? Was, and it was weird, it was, it was too comfortable, it was too almost mm. clinical. Yeah. It, it didn't feel right, it didn't feel natural. No. But you're going to get that, I'm guessing, out here, you know. Ancient sites, I mean, you never know really what's gone on here over the years. Exactly. Anything could have done. This feels very different though, this feels much more safe. I mean, I mean the last place we walked into, straight away... You could feel it straight there, away. There, there, there were, yeah, there, it was different, it was static. Yeah. I mean, as I said, it's, it's not like that around here. I just mean it won't build up, but, but it's... Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Okay, but I think we're going to give the spirit box another whirl because at least that's something that everyone can experience. Okay, so this device is uh, made for you to come here to communicate with us. Would you like to come forward and speak to us? Yeah, maybe it's been okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're actually going to invite you to come into this space now, please. Um, I didn't do that earlier. Usually I'd ask you to stay outside of our area, but I'm going to ask you to come into it, please. Um, you can come stand in front of us if you want to. Come and talk with us. Uh, you made very obvious that you were here earlier on. Please. Okay, please come into our area if that's what you're asking. an aeroplane flying over and you get things coming through. <laughs> yeah, it sounded more sense to leave. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to work out from it. Could you come closer so we can hear you better? Well, we really need something to record that, don't we? 
I had them. Let me get this going. This has got a really good recorder on it. It's pretty quiet. Okay, could you come join us? Come closer. There's a woman's voice there again. Hey, yeah, 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 please could you come to this area? Come speak with us. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming to see a wonderful forest. Um, yeah. Yeah, could you come a bit closer, please, so we can hear what you're saying? Would you like to come tell us your name? Yeah. You need to, if you come closer, no, we can hear you better. There, there was like wooden voice. It's all very quiet, isn't it, in the background? So yeah, it's, it's always worth, by the way, recording anything off a spirit box like this with a phone because seriously, um, yeah, so, so many things come back that, that you don't hear at the time from yeah. the playback. As long as you've got it on flight mode, though, of course, because yeah. you don't want it to interfere with any equipment. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've had entire sessions where we've not heard anything at the time, but when we played it back, there's constant voices, which is a really strange experience. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah really. It's also nice we get a little bit of banter interaction going on. Yeah. Okay, listen, not be funny, okay? like, like if you're making the effort to speak to us, which is really, really good, um, could you tell us, please, your name or how long you've been here for? Are you just passing? Passing, is it? Something like that. No? Yeah. Okay. That's all good, yeah. So, are you usually in this forest? Or have you just come here because we've asked you to? Or asked anyone to? Like, do you know what year it is? Leave. 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 Bye. Bye, I think it was bye. No, no, no. Do, do you want us to leave this area? Would you prefer it if we left this area? Leave. Okay. Right, well, not a bad session. At least we've got a few responses there. Um, from what we could make out, it seemed like the individual, or both the individuals, wants us to leave the area for whatever reason. Um, it's a difficult decision to make, really. I mean, it's not like we're in a building, and I'm pretty sure that they're not residential to this woods. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, Keep your own force of it. Yeah. But there's definitely more activity at this end of the forest. Mm. So, I mean, we, we could go a bit deeper and I'll go, go, go to... Here we are in a new area. Um, We probably literally walk around in circles in this place. It's very easy to get disoriented, but um, again, it's, f it's a very different feel here. Yeah. It's definitely interesting doing stuff outdoors in the forest. I recommend it for anyone who does this sort of work. Um, go into the forest, see what you feel. Yeah. It's totally unique. Yeah. It's movement and footsteps. So you're aware as well, we actually have no cameraman at the minute. That's crunching over there. Yeah. Have you got the K2 on the old door over? Yeah. Yeah, we have no cameraman at the minute, so it is literally just us two out here. Yeah. So the footsteps and stuff that you hopefully you can hear 
there's no one else here, so and we're sitting on this log. Yeah. Top of room cube as well, actually. Right. Yeah, I mean, the problem is obviously we haven't to use um, an, artificial, an artificial light out here, which is less than ideal. Okay, we just heard footsteps. If that was you, could you come forwards and tell us your name? That would be funny, I think there's someone actually talking over there. I'm just trying to just say. That was a bit odd. No, actually, it, it sounded very much like, like a, a, a bloke's voice talking with a bit of a country accent over there. See, that's what I thought I heard earlier when he was over there. Yeah. I heard a man's voice. It's very difficult around here, I mean, obviously it's, it's not a building so we can't say 100% for sure that there's nobody oh, yeah. walking around and talking because of course there could be and we can't prove otherwise. Um, as I said, you, you can't isolate the area. No. They are quite big woods and yeah. if, I think if people were near here, you'd hear them anyway. Probably. I mean, there's so big people do walk their dogs, but it's strange. I mean, you'd think if if someone was walking and having a conversation, you wouldn't just hear like a tiny pocket and then nothing. Yeah, you'd hear them constantly. It'd talking. be yeah. constant speed until they've sort of gone. Or, 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 or you'd hear, con or you'd or hear constant. Are, yeah. yeah, but it's just like 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 pockets of conversation and yeah. whispering, and it just and it's gone and there's nothing. Um, that's probably the only reason why it appears to be um, not. Not, yeah. not, not locals walking around. Yeah, there's a black box on the floor in front of us. If you touch that, the lights will go off and it will alarm. It won't hurt you. Could you come and touch it for us? Yeah, so we know you're here. It's a way you can communicate with us as well. Um, you can come closer to it to allow us to know you're here. You could touch it for an answer, a response, i.e. yes or no. Um, oh, of course, you could interact with us directly or yeah. speak through. There's a voice there. Let's speak through the spirit box. Oh, that was a bit weird. Sorry? Well, it started coming through there. Sorry, could you repeat that? Just a sec. Well, there's a lot of natural energy in this place, it's really strong. Okay, I think they've tried to put off the bright light. Just a sec, come on. No, it's fine. Here, here come. Come. What's that picking up? channel energy things but Could of course be because it, it shifted it a little bit on the as we move. Of course I do. It's not doing it now though. 
which is good. That's a bit weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I might still be recording by the way. That's okay. Right. Go for tough the main spotlight. Yeah. Let's take this. Oh. Do it again now. Yeah. So you can come touch the black box. Thank you. So can we turn off that? Mm-hmm. There was just a voice behind me. A woman's voice. My tape recorder might have got it. And again, look. It's one very, very staticky all around me. Like, really static. Hold it down more so we know you're here. Thank you. Move towards it properly, please, if you can. Hold it all the way down. This isn't direct interaction, this is just energy around us. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. This is what I was saying about this, this area, so there's a lot of. K2 is not responding, which is interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, right, let's reset this again. Right, there's, unless there's something touching it underneath, which there shouldn't be. No yeah, it would do it straight away, wouldn't it? It's not static anymore. It's gone. But it all built up suddenly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. could you come back into the area again, please? Whatever built up has gone. Yeah. It feels completely different. It does. It feels a lot lighter around here now. Well, that's strange, though. It just suddenly built up, yeah? Mm-hmm. You make yourself known again. Thank you for doing that. Okay, so uh, I think we're done for tonight. Um, yeah, it's been interesting, hasn't it? Really? Certainly a place we'd like to come back to again. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, we've had, for, since we've been here, obviously, all sorts of activity, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, for, for an outdoor paranormal thing, it's probably about, you know, shock of having things thrown at you. Yeah. Very direct stuff. It's, it's not been bad at all. I mean, obviously we had voices coming through on the spirit box. We've experienced voices around us constantly. The REM cube went off by itself. Yeah, that that was, you know, whilst sort of seeing if we could actually bring an in energy into the area, yeah. we seem to get a response. Um, as always, it's a make for it what you will, but, but from our point of view, it was interesting. It was a good evening. Yeah, yeah. You could definitely feel the energy changes in different areas of the woods as well, which is quite strange. Cause you um, thought it would just be like a... No, like it could be the same. The same. It's, yeah. not, it's not at all. No. And I mean, that, that area where we're, that we we're in, where we sort of suggested there might have been yeah. a portal or something along those lines, that was very, very different. Yeah. It, it, it felt almost sort of encapsulated and sway. It, yeah. it was very, very weird. Um, yeah, great. Cool. Well, thank you for watching. Yeah, yeah thank you very much. Um, yeah. yeah. Join us for more. <laughs>